I have to say, these remote connectors are probably the best tool in the game. They make these setups so clean and so compact. Hello everyone, welcome back to Automation Empire. I am Arctic Wolf and this is episode 11. In last episode we set up the combiners, increased our production, doubled up our gold production so that we could unlock the remote connector. Now we need to go for trains and oil as well as water which means we need to get 11,000 12,000 output so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be tearing this building out right here there we go we're gonna move the research over there we got iron and coal right here and we'll be pinching off the gold to do research. We're going to tear all this out and put in three buildings. One is going to be manufacturing the processed iron. One is going to be manufacturing the processed coal. And one is going to be combining the two into the plates and delivering it to the trucks. So I'm going to jump into that. We'll probably speed this up right here. All right, we're going to speed it up right here. Um, the first few steps are nothing that we haven't done already. Um, tearing out these old rail tracks and setting in the new buildings and hooking the new buildings up to the existing miners. All of that kind of stuff. But once we get the buildings down, the interior we do completely different. So, I'm going to let this go. I'll let you guys watch me build this stuff. And then when I got the buildings up and the interiors are going, I'll come back and explain what's going on. For now, just enjoy this.
I'm back. Um, as you can see, these ro remote connectors are something special. Um, they save so much room inside the factory that it's almost comical. Uh, these setting up this factory uh, when I put these remote connectors in I thought I was gonna need a lot of room and then I put them in and I was like oh my goodness look at all that space I got <laughs> but the way they work you assign the color of a bin inside the factory to one of those colors the green the orange or the blue and then like, I'm about to set these combiners up right here so I, I got cooked coal coming in on the into the orange bin just getting sucked up in their mine cart right there going into the orange bin I got the cooked iron coming into the green bin and then I got them out putting the steel plates into the blue bin in that particular building uh, and each building can have its own set of these connectors so that it can have three different resources in these storage bins and then as many of these connectors as you want to have color coded to that bin connected to whatever machinery you need um, here I, was, I noticed that there was missing some claw tracks which is causing some money issues because we need to we, we completely shut off our output to do this switch over so we need to get it all put together and running again so we're making our money again so we're watching everything making sure it all works we come in here we see that we're pumping out the uh, steel plates so then we go over and rework the gold building which I can completely tear it all out and put it all back in again with the um, remote connectors it saves a bunch of room and a bunch of money because like I said last episode those storage bins some big storage bins there cost thirty thousand dollars each to place and they don't cost any maintenance but just to place them down uh, I can get three of those remote connectors for the cost of one bin so it's, uh, it's way cheaper to run them like this and it's the same setup one boxer can handle three or one miner can feed three or how does that work one miner feeds one oven and one boxer can feed three can handle three miners and ovens that's the way it works so we bring the ores in put them in the orange bin they're immediately shoved over to the boxers which will unbox uh, will box it up create it in create it up what are you going to call it and send it down the chute <sighs> they get divided into the three ovens and then when it comes out the oven it gets sucked up right away and put into the next color bin and then get yeah, on to wherever it needs to go from there uh, here what we're doing with the claw tracks here is uh, we're reducing the number of vehicles each claw track has to deliver to from three down to two because we can handle that with our claw tracks. I end up having to add two claw track trains into here and one truck stop. Not here. I'm like, are these trucks in the way? Are these trucks in the way? No, I was just out of money. So add another truck stop. So now we've got two, four, six, eight, ten truck stops taking out the steel plates and four taking out gold we're gonna need to increase the gold eventually put in another road with another lane and more gold 
uh, stops for the gold trucks. But what we do here is we rework the, the reroute the claw trains and yeah I'm just figuring out where to put the unloading stations for these claw trains to pick them up and it ends up being super easy now that I can just place the crate maker and say okay we need you here and then just hook it up where it needs to go that's so much easier than having to f work with a claw track or a mine cart and storage bins and try to package it up and unpackage it and cook it and all that other just this is so much easier I really really like these remote connectors I'm probably not gonna say it enough y'all probably sick of hearing me talk about them but it's amazing they're amazing they're amazing so here we're waiting for money again we hit some points where I didn't know if we were gonna recover we were like a hundred and four in a hole there for a second 104,000 in the hole there but then once I got all five of the claw tracks working and both of the gold trains working things really started to pick up so then the next thing we do after we get this all set up is work on science so what I do I as you can see right there I just added a big storage bin connected it to the little blue bin so now it pulls the steel plates out of the blue bin and adds them to the blue bin when needed but that blue bin was getting almost full which means we got more being made by the combiners than we can take out with the claw tracks which is actually a good thing because we need it for science and we got a bin full of gold sitting over there so I run the minecart tracks over there oh right I forgot about this part I, I spend a good deal of time here setting in the crate gates on the claw tracks so that they bounce around inside the building when they while they're filling up and then once they're full they leave and go drop it off and they'll bounce around out there at the truck stops while they're full waiting for a truck to land until they're empty before they come back in all of them except for the shortest middle one right here it's just so short that it you can't do it the the, the gates will crisscross each other and get it'll get confused and this last one on the end is also very very short but after we did the claw track crate gates and I had to watch each crane and make sure the grates gates are in the right spot and move them out of the way so that they could pick up from the the drop off station out or the loading dock in the building and have enough room for all the cranes to pick up from all the different spots and when you moving them around like that sometimes there's just not enough room and the ones that didn't have enough room didn't get the gates and then we set up the science <music>
Okay. We're getting there. Do we have enough to unlock the train? What's our research looking like? Not quite. Well, let's see here. Trucks are maxed out. Claw tracks are maxed out. We can add cars and claws to the mine carts and claw tracks. We could increase our minecart speed. Yeah, that'll help. We'll do that a couple of times. But there we go. These combiners are the most, or these uh, remote connectors are fantastic. Because what took this much room to do before only takes this much room now. <laughs> we have comically large amounts of space left over after we built this building. But that's going to have to do it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this one. This one's a lot of fun to make. We're starting to get into the fun parts of this game. Where money's not really an issue. And you can do cool setups like this. And we're going to have to start working water into it. Which is just connect the water to the building. But we're going to have to start working water into it. So we can get to the next stage in our stuff. We're going to have to make, we're going to eventually have to tap into these other resources here and make more setups. We're going to have to run our gold out, mix it with some coal to make some gold fuel. We're going to have to research that. How are we doing towards researching water? Yeah, we need 600,000 and 11,000 output. We're not quite there yet. I think tapping into one more node, section of nodes, and in increase this, improve this again. But if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this series and my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know exactly when my next video comes out, hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification. And with that, you people have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Arctic Wolf out.